after a 67% drop in ARK Innovation, the ETF, last year. And I know it was a tough year for, for many assets. Do you find any of your investors kind of treating ARK a little bit, you know, more cautiously? I, I think one thing that happened last year is we were able, with a number of papers, we we were uh, we called it our ground war. We were trying to help uh, investors and advisors understand that um, if you take a look at truly disruptive innovation, which is all we do, um, and you look at other growth portfolios, large cap growth, uh, you know, growth generally, as well as the major benchmarks like the NASDAQ, uh, you won't find much truly disruptive innovation in, in them. And so as we were getting hit so badly, what we also saw is investors taking tax losses in some of uh, NASDAQ and other strategies and uh, moving into our strategy, which was hit so hard mm -hmm. because they did believe that we were going to rebound faster. We were the hit hit the hardest. Our research would suggest that uh, that the two hundred trillion dollars that we expect by twenty thirty uh, to be uh, the market mm. valuation placed on disruptive innovation right. that that hadn't changed. That that hadn't changed. And so if you have a five-year investment time horizon, yes, you move into our strategy. And oh, by the way, we are the new NASDAQ, which is huh. one of the ways we were trying to convey, look, if you want to look at the future and truly disruptive innovation, the way the NASDAQ, uh, well, the NASDAQ performed in the 80s and 90s, right. that's where we went for innovation. Well, okay, look, look through that now. You will not find the kind of disruptive innovation. It certainly doesn't dominate those indexes. Maybe 25% of 